Hi, welcome back. Uh, episode 2 of Tori 3D. I legitimately, last episode, I thought that there was like a little trumpet sound in the game. Like a little... But it's the cat outside the door. That's going to be a nice feature of the channel. Every time the cat wants in, we just have to yeah, let it sadly meow outside. How do you feel about this game? Do you feel like do you like it or is it does it control too weird for you? Uh, it takes a while for me to get used to. Try try I'm like yeah, not yeah. that good at platformers. I don't know, like yeah, this part is kind of weird. You gotta like wait for it to like lift you up to the very top and then jump out. Yeah, there we go. And then I know I gotta jump here. I said something like I did anything. Oh, you got a checkpoint. Okay, cool. Oh, praise God. I was nice. stuck there forever. <laughs> oh no, you gonna get the stars? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get, get all the stars. Do you are you a completionist at all when you play games? Yeah, yeah. I like to try and hundred percent games. Yeah, that's what that's one of the reasons I like have a hard time with some games like Genshin Impact. It's like I love playing that game because it's so good, but dang, dude, like there's so much content. Yeah, and I just feel like suffocated by it. I remember they they were like, oh, we just uh, released the new. Region, right? Yep, they just released it. I right still now. haven't even finished searching the main region that they had. Yeah, I'm not even close to 100. Well, actually, that's, that's not true. I'm like 70% for the first Damn. area. Really? Yeah. Of just like exploration and all that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Because uh, I spent a lot of time just messing around. Oh, wait. wait, what? Oh, there was one behind you. Just like uh, going around the land and like mm -hmm. doing random stuff. Because uh, I, what I like about the game is you don't have to commit too hard to the actual game itself. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. I found myself, like, not even progressed in the story at all because I was just kind of doing random things. And then the side quests are pretty fun, too. Like, they, they make it really worth, like... Yeah, they have, like, legitimately good writing. I, I'm, like, surprised for, like, the fact that it's, like, kind of a gotcha game. Or it, it is a gotcha game, It right? is a gotcha I mean, game, like, yep. It's not kind of, but it's just, like... The fact that the free to playness of it is actually good, you know. I I oh no. I find that usually when you play like a gotcha game, the free to play story is really bad. Mm -hmm. You know, like I played a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes when it first came out, because I'd never played a Fire Emblem game before, so I was just like, okay, I want to see what this game is like. And people, if anyone listens to this and likes Fire Emblem, they'll probably say that's heresy, but like. I thought it was good, but the story was really dumb. It was just like, you're a hero that went through a portal, oh and God. you have to... There's there's a giant portal in every Fire Emblem world, and it's sending all of the villains into one spot, you know? And that, I feel like that's like the story of every gacha game. Like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. There's like a game called like Summoner, Summoner something, and then it's like... They Summoner? Have, Summoner's I, Rift. There's, like, so many different ones. Yeah, yeah, but, like, what they do is they, they like, make it so that, like, the story oh is so paper God. thin. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, sorry, you're, like, trying to focus, and I'm, like, this, they make the story so paper thin so that you can just be, like, oh, we partnered with Marvel to make an Iron Man event, and then they, like, have Iron Man come in, and it's, like, who are you? It's like, I'm from planet Earth. It's, it doesn't have to match or work as long as they just use the, the retcon story of like, oh, well, there's just a portal, you know? Like, Tori 3D could appear in a, a, a gotcha game and they could just be like, it's the portal opened up from the tentacle world. I want to see this guy. No. Oh. No. I want to see him in Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be so awesome. I would absolutely main Tori. It, it, I'm guessing that's the name of the little chicklet character that we well, got. Well, I, I remember, didn't Sega try and, like, attempt to make one? A Smash game? Yeah. Clone? I don't know. Uh, did they make a... Or, that I, or I, I remember, like, they made something similar. I'm gonna look up Sega Smash clone and see what I get. I would like that. That, that seems like it'd be fun. Yeah. You know what I do remember is they had a Flash game, Smash, uh clone that was like oh, oh yeah you got this i believe in you the grim reaper's about? right there next to you he's gonna just imagine he just kills you you finally get to this point yeah baby i just missed the checkpoint oh my gosh that'd be so good it like doesn't count you have to do a little special thing 
Did you just go that way now? Okay. But yeah, uh, there was like a Flash game where you could play as like Mega Man and Sonic and all that stuff on the browser. Did you, know, did you were you a PC guy as a kid? Yeah. Like you, you played like browser games. Whoa. Do you, uh, do you remember uh, this dumb game called Balloon Duel? That sounds so familiar. So they they have like a Balloon Duel for. Um, Is it Roblox? No, it, it was on Newgrounds, but it, it's based off of the Nintendo game. Like, do you remember that Nintendo game? Uh, oh, oh, uh, Balloon Fight is the Nintendo game, right? Yeah. Are you trying oh my to pop gosh, dude, balloons? How do you even? I think you just run through. I'm thinking I'm just. Oh, you just gotta through. like run straight. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I love the sunglasses getting left in the water. Um, I looked up Balloon Duel, and the first duel fought in hot air balloons in Paris, 1808. Oh, okay. Yeah, they ascend into the air 900 yards and stop at this height, and then uh -oh. they shot in turn at each other's balloons. Well, that's pretty much the game. Wow. And that's the that's the actual game itself. So Balloon Fight is, is based on a true story. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah, so Balloon Duel is like this, like, Flash one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I don't know if I ever played that, though. I played Balloon Fight, like, on, uh... Oh, I just got Deja Vu. And not because you've been on this part for a while. Oh. Nice. You got all the stars. Now can where I, to? Can I leave with the, star oh. the stars? Oh. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Is that the end? Yeah, baby, you got it. Oh. Nice, dude. Oh, you got a C rank. So I guess C is probably the lowest, <laughs> since we both like did our levels like pretty like slow. Um, okay, which one should I do next? Slidey Ice? Yeah. I like these. Um, yeah, Balloon Fight I played a little bit, but the Flash games that I usually played were like weird ones. Did you ever play Thing Thing? Uh-uh. Man, I'm trying to remember like any other ones. You know what's weird? Newgrounds is still a site. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Do they use like Flash? How do they get away with like? I have no idea, but it's still a website. Oh, it's slidey. Yeah, they. I think people still make like media content, but like you can't play games anymore. What was the purpose of getting rid of Flash? I don't know. Like, there's no more like fun things to do on the internet. You know what I mean? Just like going on like the internet. Did you ever play, like, the Cartoon Network games when we were kids? Yeah, they had this Those game were cool. where they are like, Pogs. Oh, that's and awesome. And then, like, uh, well, it wasn't, like, Pogs, but it was, like, a battle game. So uh -huh. you had to, like, collect different teams to get it. And then they had, like, a kind of, like, an uh -huh. MMORPG where you could, like, get the to like get coins to uh -huh. get the tokens to that's... play other people in this, like, battle game. That's awesome. I never played that. Yeah. That sounds so fun. I was, like, super addicted. I played uh, Quiet Cat. Um, I played the MMO that they came out with. Do you ever see that? They made an MMO. Yeah, they had like a Cartoon Network MMO where you could actually like level up and play as certain characters. I think you start as number one from Kids Next Door. Oh, that's cool. The bald kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Is there any like detriment to hitting those gates? The Australian one. <laughs> yeah, the Australian one. Yeah, I was trying to remember recently which, what the characters were, and I quickly remembered them. I just forgot number two, the the kid with the pilot's helmet. Mm -hmm. That show was good, too. My fondest memory of watching that show is when I was a kid, I was grounded. And so, oh my goodness. That's terrifying. What is that? It's like a giant mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like a giant mouth. <laughs> that legit made me jump. Did you see that? That scared me. Oh my gosh, I was like a child watching a horror film. <laughs> yeah, I did not realize how much. So it is a giant mouth. Yeah, it is a giant mouth. Um, I was grounded as a kid a lot because I got bad grades in like elementary through like pretty much high school, honestly. Um, and I remember, so my solution to that was just to wake up like my mom would go to work at like 5 30 in the morning so i'd wake up at like six and watch cartoons and then i remember like i watched kid next kids next door one day and i like went to school and when i got back my mom was just like hey how come the channel is on oh look at that that's terrifying 
how come the channel's on Cartoon Network? And I just, I got caught so fast. I was like, dang it. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought I was smart. Yeah, I was like, you must have been watching that. <laughs> See? I thought I got through that one pretty fast. All right, whatever. All right, let's, let's call it an episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done it. At least like and comment. No one comments. No one comments. No. <laughs>